If you'd like to add fonts into GIMP, I'm going to show you exactly how to go about it. So follow these steps and let's jump in. So to add existing text, you'll see on the top left hand side there is a text tool and here you can create your text box and type in what you would like to type in here. So let's just go ahead and say cat. We're going to hit enter. There it is. And you can change the properties of this, including the size, as you can see over here. And on the left hand side, you can see that there is a font style. And over here in this menu, you can see a font style. So what we're going to do is go over to a browser of choice. And there are many websites that allow you to download fonts for free. 1001fonts.com. I use this regularly. It's very awesome. It's simple. All you have to do is jump into the website. And as you can see, this one over here we'll use as an example. It's called Carriots. Now we're going to go into download and click on download. It's now downloaded to our system. If we go into GIMP again, we go and click on that text box here. We can just scroll up to C and we will now witness that carrot is not currently over here. OK, so we're going to go and check that it's not there and we've confirmed it's not currently installed on GIMP. We're going to now go back here. We can go to our download, open up that zip folder and we're going to extract all. And once we've extracted all, we can now open this folder and we are going to select both files that are in here, right click, and we're going to say install. Now, if you have more than one user on your device, you can have the option to install for all users. Once you click on install, it'll give you this option here. You can just say yes and it will install. Now, what we need to do. If we go back here, it will not register. What we can do is just make sure that our changes have been saved. So if you close the program over here, we're going to go and just say um, discard changes or you can just save the changes that you've made. What we want to do from here is open up GIMP again. It'll take a few seconds. And once it's opened, we can go up into file on the top left hand side and reopen our project. So here where it says open recent, this is our project right here and we have our project. I did not save the changes, but that's fine. You can see here now in our text box on the left, all these options, we're going to go and look for our text that we just imported. Now, if we go back to the folder you can see it's called carriots so we're going to just go and look for this over here so you can see that it is now right over here we can select that text carriots and use it in our design on gimp if this was helpful drop us a like we'll see you next time folks peace out